Hi everyone, welcome back to Photography by Harrison. You know, the last time we met, it was raining. And today, a storm is scheduled for the southeast, but hopefully we can get this done before the storm hits. And what we're going to do today, I have a treat for you. If you have a camera with an electronic viewfinder, we're going to go back to the old school way. We're going to put it on manual focus, manual iris, and see what kind of fun we can have. And the reason, don't be afraid. If you never shot on manual focus, don't be afraid, because if your camera have a, has an electronic viewfinder, you can exactly see what it's going to look like. And also, you can see how the framing and exposure looks like. So, let's go back to the old school. When it comes to manual focus, you adjust the focus wheel or the ring on your camera till the picture is sharp. Another advantage of manual focus. You focus on what you want, get your tight shot, then you can pull out and it will still be in focus. If this raindrop is what you want in manual focus, it is what you will get without autofocus hunting trying to find it. With manual arrows and an electronic viewfinder, if the picture is too dark or light, you can just adjust the aperture to get it the way you want to look. It's just that simple because you see what you're going to get. Let's say I want to do a slow zoom in to the artwork on this train. I would zoom in, set my focus, then pull out, frame the shot, then hit the record button. Then I would do a slow zoom in and everything would be in focus. No hunting with autofocus with the camera I am using, the FC300. Take a look at these flowers. With the way they are jumping around, could my autofocus be able to keep, the, keep up with them? I am not sure, but with manual focus, once, the, once they are in focus, they will stay in focus. With manual focus, I pull in, I set my focus, then pull out, get my framing for the wide shot. So when I do a slow zoom in, the name will still be in focus. Nice and sharp the way we want it. Of course, this also depends on how good your vision is. Manual focus works best with static objects. Today's autofocus, when it comes to shooting sports, animals, cars or planes, it cannot be matched. But sometimes, just for something different, Pull your camera out and go manual. I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And I hope you had as much fun on this manual focus, manual iris trip that I did. And of course, if you're watching this on Facebook, correction, if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, I will also post it to Facebook. But if you're watching it on YouTube, don't forget to go down to, to the right-hand corner and hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button so you can get all my videos. And if you like what you see, Give a thumbs up. That motivates me to go out and do more videos. And if you don't like what you see, it's all right to leave a thumbs down because that will motivate me also to go out and do more videos so you will like them. Because I said it before, you know I'm going to continue to say it. No one knows it all when it comes to photography. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And with that, I'll see you next time.